my culture is very spiritual and right. um, I mean it, it, it extends it past that right. too but you know like I mean what better narrative can I tell being a black woman through my art and making black art exactly. Hey, what's going on Artaholics? I'm Mike Kwan here, downtown Newark, and I'm excited to kick off this all new episode of Urban Exploring. Last year, I got a chance to chill with artist and printmaker Angela Pilgrim, and she told me all about her passion for art and printmaking. I'm excited to share this with you. Let's roll. Traditionally, I'm a painter and um, an illustrator. Um, it was only until I got into a different medium, which was printmaking, that I was able to utilize those core um, uh, skills that I had to um, create something um, that was wearable. Right. That's kind of like a fast forward thing. Mm -hmm. So I like came up with my own brand, uh, Fruition. Okay. But um, yeah, from there, I just. Um, once I applied for residency in Newark, um, I decided, okay, well, you know what, um, I'm just going to get better and better at this, and then, then, you know what, I'll be confident enough for other people to wear right. and stuff. Because this is going to create a guide, so I know exactly where to print Okay. on my garment. When I look at your posts via social media, mm -hmm. I get a feeling that you love, like you really, really love print, like it's your mm -hmm. life. Is that mm -hmm. true? Yeah, definitely. I found something I love to do. So mm -hmm. I think that's really important finding something right. that, you know, really works for your life. I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to like learning new things, right. but it's something that really stuck with me and I'm having fun with it. And that's mm -hmm. like half the battle too. Cool. So this just goes over like this. Uh, yeah. When you bring it back. So I'm going to actually print on this first. Okay. In which I brought to um, the print shop to get accepted mm -hmm. um, was centered around black hair, black women, um, and natural hair, yeah. rather, um, and the appreciation of it and the individuality that comes from that. Okay. Um, and I started making, I love portraits, All so right. I started making, um, drawing women that, uh -huh. you know, were happy in their their natural like hair and, and who they really were when they woke up mm -hmm. and it was something that I kind of struggled with when I was younger right. growing up I didn't see much of that right. so to kind of create that voice through my work that happened and then these key images turned into actual images on clothes so right. it's like t-shirts and head wraps like my head wraps will have something really abstract on it, mm -hmm. but then at the same time, like it'll have like a woman's fro, or not fro, but her hair, head, right. um, her portrait and her fro on it. We have like a, we have a head wrap that's the Pam Greer head wrap, mm -hmm. and it's basically a picture of Pam Greer and some abstract like art around it, and that's one of our best sellers. So I'm just spreading some ink an inch above the image here. Mm -hmm. That should be enough to print all of my eyes. Cool. And it's printed there. Mm -hmm. But now why are you print, printing on the plastic? Well, I'm printing on the plastic because when I put the dress under, I can just move the dress wherever I want it. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly where I print it or where my screen comes down. Gotcha. So it's, it's kind of like giving me a guide as to where it is going to exactly Please. print. You're right. Now take me through, um, take me through some of your photo campaigns. I'm really a, a, a fan of uh, art through photography, and I think you do an awesome job. I there was times where I contemplated on reaching out to you to shoot some of the product oh, uh, wow. for some of our clients. Um, I love how you you know use. Construction paper, um, layers of it, two tone colors, yeah. and then you lay your product on top of it. Even when you're shooting uh, models for your right. brand, 
Um, I noticed you always have some kind of leaf behind it and whatnot. Uh, can you take me through that creative direction? Is that all you, or do you give credit to someone else helping the um, photographer, maybe? Um, actually, I take all the photos from uh, Work Fruition awesome. um, currently. Um, I was working, or I was trying to work with other photographers, but I feel like because like I can be um, controlling of my time, it's right. just like it's been easier for me to just go. And also too, like in high school, I used that's all I used to do was take like photos. Right. So I have kind of like a history in, in having an eye for something. Awesome. And then place it under. Mm-hmm. Got it. Now let's see. Mm-hmm. And this is how it starts. So for every print, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. So now that I want it there, I'm just going to like put this back over here. So be careful. to dry <laughs> so right. i put it through the conveyor belt right. and i go to the next one all right guys so you got the opportunity to learn what angela does how she does it and where she does it now it's time to dive in and see what she think of newark and how she see her brand fitting within newark let's roll um i really felt that there was a rich culture there right um i really felt a sense of community it was a lot of um, people from the community just like really coming to this space right like people you would see like all the time in Newark but it was all it's, it's kind of like a hangout right, spot right. and it's in itself so I thought that was really intimate mm -hmm. um, and it's very friendly and it's very um, I like to say it's very pro-black right. um, which is great because you don't see too Get many too of those yeah. you know places here and especially with the transformation of Newark mm -hmm. you know Definitely. For, for, uh, yeah. there's still to be uh, that here in Newark right. Amazing, right? right now we're taking it to dry right yeah taking it to dry once it comes out, it'll be dry and then And then you can, yeah, you can do take your next hit. From the Haynes Building Tour to bumping into old friends and learning everything screen printed from Angela, it was time to eat. I really enjoyed the North Print Shop and my time there. Tell me about this drink that you recommended. It's really good. Yeah, I just drank it all <laughs> because it was so good. It right. was purple, uh -huh. um, but it's called the Freetown, mm -hmm. um, and it's I don't even know, like what she said about the, the herb. Like I'm not too good with herbs and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, but I know that it's some type of herb that's yeah. poured that was brewed and. The drink was put in here, but it was blue, and then right. they put lemonade in there, and then it turned purple. <laughs> so, yeah, it was like some alchemist right. <laughs> type situation going on. Since we're on the topic of Newark, what are you mostly excited about as you know you grow yourself uh, within the city? Um, just new development. Um, mm -hmm. Just how I mean, as much as like things are changing, it's always good too. There's always an aspect of that. Right. Um, a lot. Of, um, I think there's a lot more housing that's going to open up for artists mm -hmm. like the Nina Simone house in the South Ward right. is supposed to be opening up and it's supposed to be owned by artists if I'm correct in that um, so that's really exciting I think that artists are the foundation of this city right. in a lot of ways and uh, yeah that's really exciting to see cool all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your time with me and Angela today. I enjoyed my time with Angela. I learned so much about what she do and how much she loves what she do. Um, taking me through the process of printing and then walking me through the Haynes Building, a place that I haven't gotten a chance to explore yet. Uh, today was a good day. Thank you for showing me around. No problem. Awesome. Peace. Well, I think that's a wrap. Uh, that's all the questions I have for you did extremely well. Now we just have to uh, shoot a lot of this stuff. Okay, cool.